Here we have Bill Nye on a car. And we have Bill Nye on a car so that we can see, is the car going at a constant speed? So we're going to be collecting some data on that. Now we have a timer display in the bottom left hand corner. It's measuring time for the nearest hundredth of a second. And we're playing back the video at a four times slower rate. The reason why we're doing that is so that we can see when Bill Nye's left arm hits the distance markers, the yellow pieces of tape, we know exactly to the nearest hundredth of a second when that happens. From the video, we recorded data into a data table that has time and distance. The yellow tapes on the video represented the 50 centimeter marks. And so we would pause the video and record the time. Now the video was four times slower than normal playback rate. In so reality, these times should be four times um, smaller in seconds, but that's okay. This is all about relative measuring. So we took the time and put it on the x-axis, it's measured in seconds. We took the distance and put it on the y-axis and measured in centimeters. Now, what we have here is a line graph. And an important measurement in a line graph is slope. Slope measures how steep a line is. And it is measured in rise over run. The rise is always the change between the two data points on the graph on the y-axis. So here we have the rise, and the run is the horizontal change in distance between two points. So from here to here, the horizontal distance is right here. And so if we look at all of our data points, the rise appears to be the same. And that makes sense because rise is distance. So it goes every 50 centimeters is the rise. So the rise is the same, but if we also look at this, it looks like the run, these runs are about the same distance as well. If we take a look at our time, the rise is, or sorry, the run is the time. And so the runs are around eh, between five and six seconds. So it looks like the slope never changes. Well, if we take a closer look, rise equals distance on our graph because the y-axis is distance and the run the x-axis is time. So in this case, rise of run equals distance over time equals speed. So if the slope's not changed, that means the speed's ch not changing. And so this is what we call a constant speed graph. It shows that you have a straight line and a distance over time line graph.